This presentation is on El Nino and La Nina. Now, there's been lots in the news over the last few decades about El Nino and La Nina and drought and flooding being caused in different parts of the world. The aim of this presentation is to try to show why. Now, it, it all concerns the Pacific Ocean and we're looking at winds blowing over the Pacific Ocean that's dragging the surface of the ocean with it, um, creating ocean currents that are either going towards Australia or are, go are going towards South America. So here is South America to the east and over here is Australia to the west. And normal conditions mean that the sun is heating up the surface of the ocean so that when the trade winds blow west, these warm um, surface ocean waters move towards the west, towards Australia as well. Now, because um, Australia is going to be experiencing a warm ocean, well, the air above the ocean is warm too, and hot air rises. Um, and as the air rises, the moisture in it will cool and condense, forming clouds and rain within Australia. Now, because the surface waters of the Pacific Ocean have been moved to the west, um, rising cold water comes from deep down within the ocean um, to replace it. This means where South America is, it's going to be a cooler ocean. And if you have a cooler ocean, air sinks above it, clouds do not form, and you end up with dry and clear conditions in South America. Now, within the ocean, um, ocean waters will sink where Australia is and then loop back to where South America is to the east. Now, that is what happens in a normal year. Now, La Nina occurs every two to seven years, and La Nina is the same as the normal conditions just much more extreme and much more intense. So rather than trade winds blowing to the west, they are very strong winds, which pushes a large amount of Pacific Ocean surface waters towards Australia, giving Australia a very warm ocean, which means lots of evaporation occurs, air rises speedily, and you get rain and floods within Australia. Meanwhile, we're experiencing drought and very dry conditions in South America. So that is La Nina, similar to normal conditions, but more extreme and occurring every two to seven years. Meanwhile, El Nino is the opposite to La Nina. Every three to four years, the trade winds might slow down or even reverse direction. So every three to four years, the trade winds might go to the east. Now this will move the surface waters of the Pacific Ocean to the east as well. And because the sun has been heating these surface waters, warm ocean is pushed over towards South America. With the warm ocean, air above it will rise, and this will create clouds and rain and floods within South America. Meanwhile, as the surface waters of the Pacific Ocean have been moved to the east, cold water is sucked up from deep in the ocean, being a cold ocean next to Australia. With the cold ocean, it will have cooler air above it, giving us high pressure, sinking air, and you're getting your droughts and very dry conditions uh, within Australia. These convection cells will loop um, to where they started. Now that is El Nino and that occurs every three to four years. Now how can you remember in a GCSE exam which one is El Nino and which one is La Nina? We have a good way we think. Imagine a girl, her name is Nina and imagine she cries every time she goes to Australia. So Nina cries in Australia. Now, by crying, we actually mean the rain, and by Nina, we actually mean La Nina. So, if you remember that La Nina means rain in Australia, then you can remember the whole of the cycle. 
So let's imagine in the exam it asks you what are El Nino conditions like. You would just remember the phrase Nina cries in Australia. So during La Nina there is rain in Australia. Now El Nino is the opposite. So during El Nino there is rain in South America. So you would draw your clouds here. Now for there to be rain in South America there must have been rising air. Why do we get rising air? It's because of a warm ocean. Where's this warm ocean come from? Well, it's been blown, it's been dragged across the Pacific Ocean, so the ocean current is coming this direction. And then through this rhyme, you can remember the rest of the El Nino cycle or the rest of the La Nina cycle. I hope this helps you to remember them.